there was nothing more fun than getting a box from Bachman. So we decided we would go ahead and open it up and see what was inside. And guess what? Toby has arrived. And also there were two other rolling stocks in there that we'll take a look at in another video. It's a typical Thomas box and it's always well packaged with Bachman. Just open up the sides, slide it out. Now the one thing that we like with the Bachman packaging is there's always an instruction manual and there's a piece of plastic across the front and we've learned to cut it on three sides and that way it'll stay attached to the bottom so you won't lose it. When you're unpackaging this, take a look. There's some really nice plastic that they use to keep it from getting uh, scuffed on the foam, but there's two pieces at the top and two pieces at the bottom that you need to take out, otherwise it's wedged in there. So we went ahead and grabbed it, took it out. We also grabbed the one coupler that was in there and picked up our mess and put that back in the box so we don't lose those pieces when we have to repackage. And once we got that all done, here was Toby. Let's take a look at Toby. Now, in the song, they say, let's just say he's square, but he's really a rectangle. He's 10 and 3 eighths inches from catcher to catcher and 13 inches from coupler to coupler. He's seven inches tall and he's about four and a half inches wide. If you're not familiar with Toby, his full name is Toby the Tram Engine, and he is one of the fictional characters that are part of the television series Thomas and Friends. Now, Toby is a tram engine with cow catchers and side plates, and the reason he has those is so he can run on the roadside tramways while other engines are not allowed to do that for safety reasons. We're familiar with Thomas and Friends because as my son was growing up, we had everything Thomas. And it is amazing to see this particular engine in this size. It just is a lot of fun. If you take a look, there looks like a great opportunity to modify that plastic light in the back with an LED, which we might do sometime in the future. But if you look, the printing of the 7 is great. Uh, the detail that's provided makes it look exactly like what the kids have seen with and have played with in the smaller scales. They make it pretty unbreakable in the sense that that is not a piece of plastic there, it's like a piece of, of rope and that way you don't have to worry about it being broken off. All around it's a good looking unit. When we look underneath, we'll go ahead and find that there are six wheels here. Each one of them is made of heavy metal, and each one has flanges on the wheel. It comes with one replacement coupler if you want to use your Toby and pull non-Thomas rolling stock. At this point in our videos, we usually go outside and show you how something runs, but not today. With all the snow that we have, we're going to do something different. We're going to take a look inside. Now, do not do this. If you do this, you will void your warranty. We take no responsibility in you opening up your item. That's why we're doing it for you. It's simple to open up Toby. There are just six screws that need to be undone. Once you get those six screws out, don't try to pull the bottom off because there's two more things that you must do. And that is, you must remove the couplers from each end because they stick out through the catchers on the bottom of the unit. There are two screws. There's first a screw that holds the plastic spring for the coupler, and then the coupler can be removed. And then the second screw holds on the bracket and so just take those off, put them in a cup or put them in a bag so that you don't lose them and then do that on both sides of the unit. We have opened up quite a few engines in our time, but you're not going to believe this. Just wait for it. Isn't that amazing? This is the most amazing piece of design that we've seen inside of an engine, especially a large scale engine. If you take a look, there's a motor 
on the gearbox, and this is a metal gearbox that gives the unit weight, that comes down to a polarity switch. Bachman puts a polarity switch on its large scale train so you can make sure they're going in the same direction as your other engines if you want to run them together. But take a look at it. The engine is connected to this magic gearbox, which is connected to this device in front, which makes the eyes go back and forth. That's why you shouldn't take this apart because the odds of you getting it back together with the little slots in the eye mover just ain't gonna happen. So we're warning you again. This is really cool engineering and I'm glad we took the time to look inside otherwise we wouldn't have known. There's the eyes in the front. There's those little tabs that go into the mechanism in the front that will make the eyes go back and forth. So you didn't have to do it. We did it for you and I'm glad we did just an amazing thing that you would not expect to find inside Toby. Well, when the weather gets better, we'll run Toby and show you how he works, and we'll also be putting together a video showing Toby along with other Thomas friends.